I'm really excited to show everyone the power of our new product. And there's no better way to see how Firebolt's low latency, high concurrency data warehouse works than by looking at one of our petabyte scale customer use cases. This customer, SimilarWeb, uses Firebolt to power their search analytics application. SimilarWeb's users regularly send hundreds of queries per second to Firebolt and see average response times in the tens of milliseconds. One of the most complex components of SimilarWeb's application is this page, Search Analysis and Keyword Research. From this page, users can search for any phrase that might be searched on Google or any website of interest. I'm going to search for a website, orangetheory.com. You can see that SimilarWeb immediately returns data about all the keywords that are sending traffic to this web page from Google Search. This page is super flexible. Users can apply a lot of different filters. For example, I'll go in and toggle a filter for month. Um, you could toggle filters for where the traffic is coming from, if it's desktop or mobile web, uh, even switch between whether that traffic is organic or paid. Notice that as I was clicking through all of these filters, SimilarWeb's application remained exceptionally responsive. I was still getting uh, my data down here updated in sub-seconds. The reason that that's possible is because this entire page, all of the keywords, all of the data, is powered by Firebolt. So behind the scenes, this is the query that's being sent to Firebolt whenever a user interacts with the Firebolt application or sorry, the similar web application. As you can see, this is a complex query with multiple CTEs, multiple filters, multiple aggregations, joins, even some operations where we're interacting with array type data. You saw me submit this query a couple of times through the similar web application. And again, despite the complexity, this was returning extremely quickly. So now imagine that similar web's application needs constant refreshing. This happens pretty frequently when a user continually reloads the page. You know, maybe they're expecting the Google search results to change or they're getting new data loaded into the application um, in near real time. We can simulate this type of interaction through our demo data app. Here's a quick orientation to the demo data app. Uh, so you can see that this dashboard is displaying charts that we've built on top of Firebolt's native observability views. So there's three charts that you can see here. Uh, each of them reflect different uh, information about how the engine resources are being utilized. So we've got CPU usage, memory usage, and disk usage. At the top of the screen, you can see the size of the table that we are querying. So this one is about 16 billion rows, 5.4 terabytes uncompressed. And then at the very top, you can see the specification for the engine that we're using. So for this first scenario, we're going to be submitting our queries through an engine with one medium-sized node. Uh, so let's return to the similar web simulation. Uh, for this scenario, we're going to send that similar web query repeatedly to Firebolt through the demo data app. So I'm going to hit run query. And what we're doing now is just pounding the Firebolt application with this query. So as soon as it completes, the next query is sent in succession. And you can see by looking at this latency box, um, this is flickering roughly between 30 and 35 milliseconds latency. So these queries, despite uh, executing after one another, um, are still extremely quick. It's worth noting that this is not using any caching whatsoever. So this is just straight up Firebolt speed. So let's look at one more scenario experienced by SimilarWeb. So if you think of their application, or really any data application, there's frequently times of peak load. So hundreds of users simultaneously interacting with the application, generating thousands of queries that are all getting pushed down to your backend database. So on this next page of our demo data app, we're actually simulating that high concurrency scenario. So at the bottom here, you can see that I've configured a concurrency of 1,000. So what that means is that we are always running 1,000 queries at the same time. Uh, this is all getting sent through to uh, a slightly differently spec to engine. Uh, this particular engine is uh, a medium engine with three nodes and 10 clusters. Now, despite this extremely high level of concurrency, 
uh, we're retaining very fast sub-second response times. So the latency, uh, again, that query execution time is between 80 and 90 milliseconds. The throughput is 1,000 queries per second. So this is huge, especially since, again, this is a 16 billion row table, five terabytes uncompressed. I can actually jump back into the product and show you what this looks like. Again, a little bit of a, we aren't faking uh, this concurrency. So I'm gonna query our engine running queries table. Uh, again, on that concurrency engine that we are uh, executing this on. And you can see here that there are uh, literally hundreds or thousands of these queries that are currently being executed on this engine. So finally, um, data intensive applications like similar webs require access to fresh data. But if you're thinking about your data app, you don't want to compromise data freshness with a performance penalty. So users who are interacting with your app still expect you to deliver on performance SLAs. They still want that sub-second response time, and they also want your data to be continually refreshed and updated. And so Firebolt gives customers like SimilarWeb the ability to retain your application performance levels while new data is being ingested. So we can see that on this next tab. So this is our data refresh demo. So again, you'll see we're operating on the same table we've been using this entire demo, uh, the table five terabytes uncompressed, 16 billion, uh, 474 million rows and change. Pay attention and try to remember this number right here uh, because this is gonna change uh, over the next few seconds. Um, again, the engine specification here is different as well. So we're running a small engine with four nodes in one cluster. So I'm gonna start a batch ingestion right now. And as this kicks off, uh, you'll see the rows per second and inserted rows begin to increment. So this is showing that we're now processing data at a rate of approximately a million rows per second. Um, you'll see that our total number of rows is still that 16,474,000,000 number. Um, and that's because everything in Firebolt is transactional. So the total row count won't increment until the entire file has been successfully processed and that transaction has been committed. Transactions in Firebolt guarantee ACID properties, so this ensures that your data remains accurate and free of write anomalies. So the cool thing is, if I jump back into this concurrency run, you can see that despite the ongoing ingestion uh, that I kicked off, we're still seeing approximately 80 millisecond latency and almost a thousand query per second throughput. This is um, exactly the same as we saw before. There's no degradation. And what you might have just noticed is that the total number of rows uh, actually incremented while I was talking. So it went from that 16 billion 400 and something number, added 50 million records, and is now at 16 million 524. So you saw in real time, live, uh, that ingestion of 50 million records happen um, while we still retained high throughput. So how is Firebolt able to retain this performance um, in the concurrency run while we were running that massive workload um, on ingestion? We can do this through full workload isolation. So again, jumping back into the app, you can see that that concurrency run is still going on. This is happening on our concurrency engine. If I look at the ingestion engine, uh, and again, query our uh, engine running queries table, you can see, again, we are ingesting data, but that's on a different engine. These two engines have different specifications. Concurrency is that medium three node 10 cluster. Ingestion is small four node one cluster. Um, but those two engines are supporting different workload requirements and simultaneously operating on the same data. You can also monitor the engine metrics directly in the Firebolt application. So you can see here engine monitoring our, on our ingestion engine. This lets you understand if your workload is fully utilizing all of the available resources, and then you can right size the engine based on statistics, really tune and dial in your price performance characteristics. The best thing about all of this, our workload isolation, is that all of these engines operating on the same database, in this case, our keyword analysis database, see a single version of truth due to strong consistency. 
So these three key pieces of Firebolt's functionality, extremely fast query response times, exceptional performance under high concurrency, and best of all, mixed workload support with workload isolation, enable customers like SimilarWeb to power complex data applications directly from their cloud data warehouse.